Bless you, New Life family. This is Pastor D. Listen, June 5th is approaching. And this is not just any ordinary June 5th or any ordinary day. This is the 50th day of our 50 days of consecration. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, this is the climax. This is the pinnacle. This is the high point of our 50th, our 50 days of consecration. And I want to remind you that over 2,000 years ago, around this time, uh, there were 120 waiting in the upper room. This was at the direction of Jesus. This was 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And he directed them to wait and tarry in the upper room for the Holy Spirit. And this is what happened on that 50th day. In Acts chapter 2, it talks about it. It says this, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, in other words, the 50th day, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, somebody say suddenly, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a Russian mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothed in tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So this is known as the day of Pentecost. Well, listen, we've consecrated. We've made sacrifices. We've been seeking God. And now is the time for us to experience the presence of God like never before. Could somebody say hallelujah? On June the 5th, we will be gathering together for what we call our God chaser experience. That is our 50th day. And uh, we're going to, we, we have been pursuing God and chasing after God. And like the day of Pentecost, I believe that we are going to ex we are going to experience the Holy Spirit. He's going to fill the room just like he did on the day of Pentecost over 2,000 years ago. And this is the thing, not just fill the room, but it was personal. Remember what it said in verse number three, it said, And there appeared unto them clothed in tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. I expect that each person that comes together, that gathers together on that 50th day, will experience the presence of God like never before before. So that day we're going to come together. We're going to focus on the word and worship. And that's it. We're not going to be doing announcements and all the different types of things. It's going to be the word and worship. We're going to fill that room with worship and with the word. And this is what I believe that God's going to manifest. Why, Pastor D? Because the Bible said he inhabits the praises of his people or he lives and he dwells in. And there's a lot of translation that says he's enthroned in the praises. In other words, on the on June the, the 5th, we are going to create a throne for God to come and rest on and sit upon. I'm excited about that. And now this is the thing. The Lord has now added another facet, has added another layer to our 50 days of consecration. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to hear from the Lord and what I believe that he wants us to do this year and moving forward. The last week of our 50 days of consecration, which for us, it'll be on June 30th. We talk about weekdays. We'll now be considered Holy Week. Holy Week at New Life Christian Fellowship. This year, the Lord wants us to add a couple of things. A couple of things. Number one, Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., we will be fasting. Now, different times throughout the scriptures, you saw fasts were declared or there are different times where they were fast. Remember, King Jehoshaphat, during a very critical and crucial time, he declared a fast. In Isaiah 58, it talks about the Lord's fast. And then in Mark chapter 9, if you remember, there was a man who had a son who was demon-possessed. Oh, my goodness. And he brought the son to the disciples. They couldn't cast him out. And then Jesus came on the scene. And, of course, Jesus handled that business, man. That demon had to go. But later on, the disciples asked him, how come we couldn't cast out this devil? How can we cast out these demons? And Jesus said, listen, this kind of thing happened through prayer and fasting. So we will have a, a prayer through fasting, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You don't have to fast every day. Pick a day or days that you say, I commit to fasting. So maybe you say Tuesday is going to be my day. For 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., I'm going to fast. And whatever that looks like for you, of course, the ultimate fast is where we're just kind of drinking water and that's it. But pick a day to fast. So that's one thing we're going to add. The second thing that we're going to add this, for this this year, uh, this year, we'll see what the Lord says next year. For this year, we're going to add a 6 a.m. prayer, time of prayer and the word and the worship. It'll be 6 a.m. to 6.30, 30 minutes before you get going, before you go to work, 
we want you to dial in on our prayer line, the, the number that we usually use for our Monday night gap from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I want you to join your boy. We're going to come together and we're going to get in the word. We're going to pray. We're going to worship whatever the Lord wants to do for that 30 minutes. And it is going to be dynamic and awesome. I believe it. So this year we're adding the fast Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then we're also adding a time of prayer word and worship at 6 a.m monday through friday just call the prayer line and i believe that as we have prepared ourselves and as we're seeking god and we're doing all these things to consecrate i believe that god is going to move and show up and show out on june the 5th for our god chaser experience i want to also remind you that we are going to be bringing our impact seed on that day, I'm asking you to bypass all the electronic giving if you can and bring, listen, whether you bring your check or your cash, because we're going to present it to the Lord. We're going to worship the Lord like they did in the Old Testament when they would bring their gifts unto the Lord. So that's our impact. See, we've been praying about that, seeking God on what we are going to bring as well. And the last reminder is that this will be an in-person service only. We're not going to do streaming like we normally do. You know, we always do that, but I want... I want less people working that day. I want people just to come in and worship God. So I'm asking you to come. You can bring your prayer mat. You can bring a sheet. You can you can uh, get on your knees. You can worship the Lord. You can walk around that room. There'd be no restrictions. The only thing we ask, of course, keep your mask on as we'll be crossing paths. But man, we're bringing in special uh, musical guests to help us to, to lift up the name of the Lord and worship on that day. So it's only going to be in person. And it's going to be dynamic. So I praise God. I thank God for everybody who has participated in this 50 days of consecration. And on June 5th, I promise you, God is going to do something great in your life. And I'll see you then. Bless you.